Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. We recently did a mail time probably three weeks ago. It was amazing. It was awesome to hear from so many Very people uh, all over North America, actually. We had mm -hmm. people in Canada, people in the United States send in stuff. And uh, this time we have lots of Woo! letters. So I'm excited to go back to mail time number two and get this done. Right on. You all set for this? All set. All right. So what we're going to do is open these one at a time. You're going to read the letters. Um, okay. There's, the first one is uh, someone who doesn't want to be named or where they live. So uh, just keep that in mind. Okay. There you go. There's so, number uh, one. Can and we thank you, everyone, for sending in these. We yeah. really, really appreciate it. We love hearing from you guys and your stories and why you're hockey fans and, and seeing your drawings, too. So mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. Can we at least say the state? Or, you can uh, say the state. Okay. Minnesota. Minnesota. Thank you very much, Minnesota. Yeah, we'll just call him Minnesota. <clears throat> Minnesota man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, last time we had a camera pointed down <clears throat> here. I'm going to take pictures of everything and put it in behind me. So that's why there's yeah. no camera pointed down. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Nice looking card. That's, uh, who is yeah, it? Yeah, Mike Commissaric. Oh, Mike Commissaric, right on. Dear Post to Post crew, Neil. I'm beep blank. I'm 13 years old, and I'm from Minnesota. I'm a big, wild, and Montreal Canadiens fan. I grew up in a family that didn't really care for hockey, but I love it. You guys' channel has made me love hockey more and has motivated me to buy a $120 hockey set. Whoa. This winter, I also plan to set up an ice rink in my backyard like Wayne Gretzky <laughs> did. That's uh, awesome. my, my favorite players are Zach Parise, Patrick Marlowe, and Carey Price. Keep up the amazing work, and if I come up with more video ideas, I'll email them to you. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm not the only one in my family that watches your channel, though. My cat, Mayer, <laughs> likes watching your channel with me. Sometimes. <laughs> So That's awesome. <laughs> wouldn't that be funny if the cat was watching and then following and then you know, yeah. trying to catch our hands or and something? And a laser pointer. <clears throat> yeah. Faithful subscriber. And I left you a little gift, only an NHL card with uh, my only NHL card with a Montreal Canadian player on it. Wow. And go Habs, go. Thank you very much. And there's some nice little artwork at the bottom, the Wild, the Habs logo, and yeah. the Minnesota North Stars yeah, as well. Yeah, I'll show that behind us so, uh, I'll take a picture of it later. Thank that you is, very much, that's our awesome. correspondent in Minnesota. Minnesota. Thank you very much. On to the next one. Alrighty. This comes from Ajax, Ontario. Ah, I was just there. You were. Like you, you spent... A week and a half or two weeks ago, yeah. Yeah, you spent, what, three days in Ajax? Three days in Ajax, yeah. Isn't that cool? Here we go. We have artwork. Oh, neat. We have artwork. I love when people drop pictures. <clears throat> Dear Neil and Brent, hello. My name is Max, and I live in Ajax, Ontario. I'm 15. I love to play hockey, and I wear number 95. Oh, nice. Right on. I love to play, oh, sorry, <laughs> my favorite team is the Pittsburgh Penguins, and my favorite players are number 87, Sidney Crosby, and number 17, Brian Rust. Aside from hockey, I also like Pokemon and Star Wars. Neil, I love it when you wear your Star Wars hat. Oops. Next, next mail <laughs> next time. time. Next mail time. My dad's family lives in PEI, and I go to visit every summer. Wow. I'm currently volunteering at uh, summer camps to get my community hours done. I can't really remember when I found your channel, but I love your channel. I was looking for a hockey channel like yours with hockey discussions and ranking videos, but I didn't like any until I found yours. Keep up the good work, guys, from Max. P.S. The Montreal Canadiens are my least favorite <laughs> team. That's okay. That's okay, Max. <clears throat> no problem. It's all right, Max. He's got drawings on the back. <laughs> I love this one. No hab sign. He'll take Across a photograph there. of that. Yeah. No habs and a big penguin. That's great. Uh, that's actually a really good... No, no offense the Pittsburgh taken, Penguins. Max. It's all right, Max. Yeah, this is, that's actually a really good drawing. That's really good. Yeah. All right, next up. Everybody has everybody gets to like a team, and everybody gets to dislike exactly. other teams. Yeah. So it's all about living in a democratic society. Yes. This next one is from Berwyn, Illinois. Derek in Berwyn. Excellent. This is a, ooh, there's some swag oh. in there from Derek. And that okay. back to you. What you got here? You got some cards. Ooh, a Pecorino card and a Dwayne Rolson card. Wow. Nice. That's awesome. Nice. And we have a drawing that we'll get to here as well. Well, maybe I'll pass that to you. Oh, we got a goalie wow. fan here, I can tell you. I, I have a feeling, yeah. <clears throat> we got ourselves a goalie. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Ooh, that's Mucho a, that's nice. a nice drawing, yeah. Habs logo. I love too. this. That's very well done. Yeah. Extremely well done. Wow. And... It's my second favorite logo in all of time. Right in all there. of time, yes. Now we'll get to the, awesome. the actual text. Okay, Derek. Uh, dear Post to Post. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Derek. I live in Berwyn, Illinois. 
I'm a huge Blackhawks and Canadians fan. My favorite Canadians players are Price and Weber, and my favorite Blackhawks players are Taves and Sharp. My first video was ranking AHL mascots. Can you please send me something back? P.S. Tell Justin I'm a fan of the Pens, but ain't a fan of Crosby. Mm -hmm. Sincerely, Derek. Thank you very much. Your address on there? Yep, yep there we'll it is. We'll send something back. No worries. Derek, you're getting something back to you in the mail. Thank you very much for sending us uh, these two cards and those drawings. That's awesome. Very good. <clears throat> Pardon me. Next, this one's coming in from, oh, another Minnesota, from Ooh. Inner Grove Heights, Minnesota. Open this one this way. Ooh, a trick. <laughs> oh, there's more. Ooh, typed out. Ooh. Look at that. <clears throat> I'll give you the artwork. Oh, another card. Oh. Wow. That looks like a score clock. It does. That is very nice. I hope it is a score clock because it looks just like one. It, yeah. it says in there. Hi, my name is Patrick Gellerman, PG-13 Hockey Man. I absolutely love your channel. I really like your tagline for the Minnesota Wild logo, best logo in pro sports. You said that Nordy was the rejected ninja turtle that grew fur. <laughs> I think Justin said that, yeah. Oh, okay. Nordy's actually the wild animal on the side of the logo. Uh, thought you should know. I love to watch your ranking <laughs> videos. Will you ever rank scoreboards? Well, it's funny you mentioned that. It just that. so happens. <laughs> it's already uploaded on YouTube and scheduled for release. Today is Thursday. I believe it's scheduled to release... Monday. I could be wrong, but I think it's Monday. By the time you see this video, it should have already been released, or maybe I'll release this on Sunday, and it's about to be released. Either way, it's there or it's coming. How's that so, for performance? Boom. All righty. Good timing. Uh, they said, I'm sorry for asking a lot. If you rank scoreboards, use frozenfaceoff.net. That's exactly what I used. <laughs> That's awesome. You're good. What's the lotto numbers for next week? <laughs> yeah. Um, I noticed that Brent is a guest on the channel. I think he deserves to be co-host. Oh, See, the co-host money, I'd like to have the co-host money. <laughs> I like to have guest any, money kind of sucks. I like to have any money. <laughs> He's there all the time, and, and uh, the awesome wise guy. I think he means wise guy in a good way, like yeah, not a guy. wise guy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, another wise yeah, guy. Yeah, you see? I'll take him yeah, the world. Yeah, he's see? a wise guy. Look at that. Yeah, maybe he needs to take a swim with his cement shoes on. <laughs> he's a wise guy. Yeah. But I think he means wise guy, like a man yeah, of wisdom. I, I think so. Uh, that's the way I'm going to take it anyway. Have you ever thought about doing a vlog to go to every NHL arena and watch a game? Uh, yes. If I had the money or if I had the sponsor, I would do that in an absolute instant. It is literally the dream of the channel. Yeah, to yeah. go to all 31... All 31 arenas in one season. Yeah. Big oh, road trip. That would be amazing. That would, that's, the, that's the goal. I have tickets for Friday Night's Lottery Draw. $31 million. Well, get her done, would you? I'll see what get I her done. Do. See what I can do. Maybe Patrick can help us out here because he seems to be really good at picking things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it would be cool if you did. I found your channel because your gold horn ranking video. I used to make gold horns. I stopped because I've been getting a lot of hate and lost subscribers. If you want me to make my third attempt, please help me get more subs. I would be very happy. I have subscribed to you. Hopefully this letter got to you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. And P.S. Here's a custom post-to-post -post scoreboard that I drew and a Malkin hockey Yeah, card. it's awesome. It's got our names on it. My name on the left, your name on the right. Oh. It's a really good rendition of the, our, our it's logo. It's very there. good. And cool. it's in landscape uh, mode. Like it's it's 16 by 9. Yes. But yeah. you... you why, why, yeah. But you, when you see the scoreboard video, you'll, you'll see that. how much Neil likes... The, uh, the more widescreen yeah. scoreboard. Got this Malcolm card here as well. So that's a nice <coughs> one. That's very nice. So, thank Good you very stuff. much, Patrick. Yes, thank you. Well I done, appreciate sir. Appreciate that. Well done. This comes from Wyatt in Austin, Texas. We're watching a lot of Houston, uh, Galveston, Corpus yeah, Christi. Yeah, big news. Big news right now. We know Austin's not, you know, right in the gun there. But, but every, uh, everywhere's affected. Uh, Fro, Brandon Renfro, my friend, he lives in Dallas, and he was talking about uh, the gas shortages and people lined up at the gas stations and stuff. So it's it's pretty widespread. Yeah, time. that's the largest refinery in in the United States had to shut down for yeah. this. That affects everybody. It affects us here in Canada too. You Absolutely. know because yeah. you know we're all drinking out of the same tap when it comes to oil. Mm. <laughs> so uh, he's in Austin. He's in Austin. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so thanks a lot, uh, Wyatt, for the letter. And we hope you and all of your uh, fellow Texans yeah. are uh, safe uh, and sound. I like that name. Wyatt. Wyatt. Oh, yeah. Don Imus' son's name is Wyatt. I'm a big Don Imus fan. Classic. All right, oh, so we got a couple of card. things here. <clears throat> Ooh. <awesome. clears throat> apples to apples. <laughs> I remember this game. Okay. 
Hi, Post to Post. I am from Austin, Texas. I love your videos. My favorite teams are the Dallas Stars, number one, New Jersey Devils, Toronto Maple Leafs, and the Arizona Coyotes. I pray to God they stay in Arizona. I think the attendance is low because they're not, they're not good. All they need to do is make the, make the players play, sorry. All they need to do is make the playoffs, which will help pay for the stadium. There, I, I'm having trouble reading. That's nothing, nothing wrong with the letter here. I live in Texas where hockey is uncommon, so I have no hockey friends. But I also love basketball, so I have sports friends. I started liking hockey when I was bored and turned on NHL TV, and I just caught on. Next winter, I'm going to play rec. Thank Ooh, you. Cool. Excellent. Rec hockey is going to be great for you. Yeah. Wyatt is age 12. Nice logo, the Dallas Stars. Um, tell Justin he is a bandwagon and he should like the Canadians. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> cool. Close to, oh, yeah. Close to, close to the back there. Nicely done, Wyatt. Dallas Stars logo. That's awesome. Very good. That's really cool. This Thank one. You for the baseball card. Yeah. This is heavy. So there, I bet you there's some stuff in here too, but we're going to open the other end so we don't want to get. Where are they from? Where are the return address? Park, uh, Allison Park, Pennsylvania. Bryce. Oh, Pennsylvania, cool. Pennsylvania. I'll just take that off like that. <clears throat> open it up. Oh, oh, I trick didn't work that time. Yeah. And I think we have all the contents. Oh my. Ooh, these are cards that are oh. in protective. Ooh, a Saku Koivu card and a Wayne Gretzky. Wow. What? Cool. That is crazy. That's awesome. That is crazy. Wayne Gretzky Rangers card. Thank you so yeah, much. Another year. Wow. That's awesome. Dear Neil, I first discovered wow. your channel when I saw the NHL Arena rankings outside. I subbed immediately. I live in Pittsburgh. I'm a huge Penguins fan. My favorite logo is the 90s Penguins logo, and favorite jersey is the 90s Pens jersey with the gray stripes. The Saku Koivu card is yours, and the Gretzky card is for Justin. Perfect. Excellent. Check out my channel. Hockey Guy 66871. I do gaming. gaming. Keep up the good work. Awesome. Keep making videos. From Bryce. Thank you very much, Bryce. Thank you, Bryce. In the Pittsburgh These area. Are awesome. Thank you. Nice. Very cool. Very He's nice. really going on the uh, shelf out there. <clears throat> Excellent. Next is Nolan in Norman, Oklahoma. Ooh, Oklahoma. Ooh. Cool. Now, I think Norman, Oklahoma is where the uh, severe tornado. storms, uh, yeah, the NOAA Severe Storms Forecast Center might be, where they do the tornado uh, tracking and all of that. I've seen it. Many times I'm a bit of a weather nerd, so yeah, you like weather. I like weather, as long as it, no one gets hurt. Oh, have I got everything? I might not. Actually, you have a look in there. Give me that. I think yeah. I do. You Maybe do. I do. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Hi Neil, my name is Nolan, and I'm from Norman, Oklahoma. When I was seven years old, I went with my dad to my first hockey game to watch the Dallas Stars play the Chicago Blackhawks at the American Airlines Center. And four years later, I started to play hockey in Oklahoma City. That's cool. Excellent. Hockey is not big here, and I'm the only person in my school of 2,000 that plays hockey. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Like being from Canada, like a school of 2,000, <laughs> there'd be like 1,900 hockey yeah. players, right? <laughs> wow. There is only one professional team in the state and it's two hours away from my home. So I usually watch every game of the Oklahoma City Junior Blazers instead. Hopefully we can get a pro team in Oklahoma someday. I'm 17 now and about to head off to college next year. So I hope I can continue to play wherever I end up going. Anyways, I love the post-to-post -post videos. have been subscribed for a while now. Keep up the good work from Nolan. And my favorite, favorite player is Jamie Ben. Go Stars. That's awesome. That's great, Nolan. Great to hear from you, Nolan. That's, yeah. That's pretty good cool. luck with your hockey and good luck with college. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, we've, uh, this is the second mail time video. I think that's the second letter from Oklahoma City. I think we got one last I, time. I think maybe yeah. we did, yeah. Yeah, I don't know where you're going to go to college, but uh, mm. there's, you know, lots of colleges up north. University of Maine. Yeah, come on. Minnesota. Come on, come on up to Orono. Yeah, where the black bears play. Yeah. yeah. This one, there's no return address on it, but the postmark says Fresno, California. Fresno, California. No kidding. Oh, maybe there's some... My goodness, I'm having a tough time doing this without getting too destructive. Make sure I have a good look inside. And the letter is as follows. Ooh, nice, nice and detailed. Very well written, too. Dear Post to Post, my name is Carson, and I have been watching your videos for at least a few months now. I enjoy watching your content, especially if it involves NHL teams. I discovered your channel while reading an online article via the San Jose Mercury News. 
It has quickly become my favorite hockey channel on YouTube, and I would love to see it get bigger and more popular. Huh. I've been a San Jose Sharks fan my entire life. My favorite players include Joe Pavelski, Joe Thornton, and Brent Burns. So far, I have only been able to only been to one Sharks game. It was against the Chicago Blackhawks during the 2013-14 season, in which the Sharks won in a shootout. I greatly appreciate that they are Neil's second favorite team. Heck yeah. Hopefully the Sharks can win a Stanley Cup within the next few seasons. Other teams I play, I pay close attention to are the Tampa Bay Lightning and the New York Rangers. In my opinion, hockey is the most underrated sport. Unfortunately, not very many people where I live take interest in, our, in or understand the game of hockey. I'm looking forward to you guys reading my letter in a future Mail Time video. Go Sharks! Carson F. from California. And there's a P.S. Go check out my website, www.carsonscarp. Picks.blogspot.com, where I post pictures I've taken of cool cars and provide information and commentary on them. Hope cool. you enjoy it. I'll go check that out. Excellent, Carson. Carson, thank you. Thank you very much. Put that there, and That's then really last great package. to hear from all across. It know? is, especially from from people who come from cities that aren't overwhelmed with hockey like they are in Canada. Yeah, like it's cool to hear from those people in those really specific areas. It's, and when you realize that, you know, we, especially in the summertime, we may be, or we're one of a few, only links they have with hockey. Yes. There, there's no absolutely. local media. There's no one to talk to. All they can do is maybe catch a bit of stuff on YouTube. And there's lots of good hockey channels on YouTube. Yep. And, and maybe we're one of them, and uh, or you're one of them. And uh, good. We're reaching out and touching. And they're touching back. So. Well, the channel wouldn't exist without you, too. So. Right on. Now that this is from the very famous Brittany. Brittany from... She's part of uh, our Discord. She's a moderator on our Discord. Oh, yeah. Really appreciate you sending this in, Brittany. I don't know what's in there, but whatever it is, I appreciate it. Brittany is a huge St. Louis Blues a fan. Huge St. Louis She's Blues from fan. Missouri. Missouri. The Show Me State, if I'm not mistaken. Harry Truman was from there. He was president of the United States in 19... What does that have to do with hockey? <laughs> 1945 until uh, 1952. Well, you know, it's... You gotta educate the people. Gotta educate the people. Okay, here we go. Coming out of the envelope. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa. And there's more. Brittany. We got wow. some. Wow. We got some text here. What is this? That's one of those you inflate it and you. Know, oh you know, no way. Way. There's That's two awesome. of them because they're only good in pairs because you bang them together. That is amazing. That's tremendous. Two of those. That is tremendous. Wow. And also, probably oh, a sign that they would give to the fans wow. in, the, in the stands. That's cool. That's really cool. Brittany, I think you're a St. Louis fan. Let's go Blues. I think that's, uh, I think that's proven here. So. Wow. And away we go. What's up, Post to Post Amigos? It's Brittany from St. Louis. First and foremost, thank you for making such great videos. I honestly look forward to watching each and every video you guys make. I still find it hard to believe that your channel has grown so much since I found it, and I can't wait to see just how big your channel gets. I love your channel because it has something for every hockey fan. That's not something you can find very readily on YouTube. And I appreciate that a lot. Not only are your videos informative, but they are also fun to watch, which can be such a fine line to walk. You guys are not only doing this, but you are doing it super successfully. She's a great judge of television. <laughs> um, next, I included a sign I got during the playoffs, sorry for it Ooh. being so bent, and a pair of thunder sticks because who doesn't want those? I figured you could use a little more blues decor, and I just happened to have some. That's, That's very amazing. nice of you. Thank you for sending this. I'm going to tell you my path to becoming the crazy hockey fan that I am today because I never really got to tell it to anybody, but you don't have to read it all on camera because it would take too long. Believe it or not, I've only recently discovered the sport of hockey. I grew up in a football and baseball family. Until about four years ago, the only hockey-related facts I knew about was Crosby's golden goal during the 2010 Olympics and Casey from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles used hockey sticks as weapons. Classic. <laughs> My path to the crazy hockey fan I am now, that I am now, was almost a bit of a fluke. My younger sister decided to do hockey cheerleading during grade 9. We decided to check out a high school hockey game before she started cheering for the team, and I've been hooked since. I remember watching my first hockey game and being so confused because I had no idea what was going on. Because I was so intrigued by the sport, I started going to high school games regularly. 
I actually ended up going to every game that season because who could beat cheap entertainment? Mm -hmm. I was so shocked that all the parents of the players were also welcoming because that had never happened to me when I attended other sports games. Only later did I find out that this wasn't just a high school thing, it was a hockey community thing. No matter what fans of various teams I encountered, everyone was so welcoming. Isn't that great? That's awesome. That's really awesome. I'm pretty sure that my life as a hockey fan was solidified during the playoffs of that season. I remember my high school's team was the last seed in the playoffs up against the best high school team in the entire St. Louis area. Heck, the other team was so good that they went to the high school national championship and ended up getting all the way to the final four that year. I went into this game thinking we were going to get absolutely destroyed by the opposition, so naturally when my team scored first, I went absolutely bananas. <laughs> I don't think I've ever jumped out of my seat so fast in my life. Nothing beats the adrenaline rush that playoff hockey entails. Well said. Well said. After my team was eliminated, I spent the rest of the summer attempting to learn the sport and all of the rules, not very successfully, I might add. Even at this point, I had still not watched a single NHL game. The next high school season started, and my team was sucking really bad. Mm -hmm. I decided to start watching the Blues because I needed to get that hockey fix somewhere. I was more than pleased when I watched the NHL on TV because I thought high school hockey was fast-paced and intense, but this was a whole new ball game. I went to my first Blues game at the beginning of 2016, and words cannot describe that experience. TV can't describe how fast the players are really skating and how hard they are actually getting checked into the boards. That's true. The 2016 playoffs were the first NHL playoffs that I actually watched, and boy was I in for a treat. The first round win against Chicago was mind-blowing. I actually... Not I actually got to go to one of the games during the first round as a graduation present. Wow. Congratulations on graduating. Yes, congratulations. I've never yelled so much in my life, and my ears were ringing because the Scott Trade Center was so loud. If you have never been to a playoff game, you absolutely have to. Haven't. We haven't. Haven't. So here we are, stuck you know, up here in Canada, biggest hockey fans probably around, and we've not been to a playoff game. Yeah, it sucks. It Someday, suck. hopefully. Maybe this season for sure. Yeah. Let's do it. Got to do it. Let's do it. Got to do it. Um, you know, and it's not easy to get into a playoff hockey game in Canada. It's actually not. <laughs> got to have some bucks. Yeah, it's you really know, in, in the states, maybe a little easier because maybe the demand isn't quite there. Yeah. But uh, that doesn't mean we can't do it. Doesn't mean we can't do it. Let's make it a priority. Do it. Alrighty. After the oh-so tragic elimination of the conference in, in the conference finals, I was dying for some hockey content and stumbled across the Montreal Canadiens YouTube page. I must say there's some pretty hilarious content on it. There really right is, there. yeah. They're, they're Even very... if you're not a Canadians fan, uh, they've got some really funny stuff. Yeah, they're real comical sticks. And recommend checking it out if you haven't already. <clears throat> I soon became a fan of the team, although I have to admit they've moved down my list to number four. This leads me to how I became a fan of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh-oh. Brittany, I didn't know this about you. Brittany, you're starting to this hurt us changes now. things. <laughs> My first year paying attention to the draft along with finding Steve Dangle on YouTube through a recommended video started my life as a Leafs fan, and I haven't looked back since. I learned so much about the game through listening to his podcast. After watching two full seasons of the NHL, I can honestly say that I have learned so much about the game that I never intended to learn. I find myself yelling at my TV. That's standard. That's very common. That's yeah. standard. That's required, actually. Yeah, and sometimes the refs and players in person when I get to go to games. Like a seasoned pro, now I find myself teaching other hockey newbies about the game and how it is played. Good for you. For me, at least, going to see games live never gets old. Every time I step foot, step foot in the Scott Trade Center, it's like I'm doing so for the first time. I consider myself so lucky to live so close to an NHL arena because I couldn't imagine not being able to go to games regularly. Thank you, student ticket prices. <laughs> <laughs> I realize I'm rambling and I've written a short essay, but I'm going to tell you who my favorite player is and why I like him so much. My favorite player is currently Colton Pareko. Pareko yeah. Good pick. I think I knew that. From the Blues. First and foremost, his game is unreal. For being such a tall guy, he can really move up and down the ice to do his job. On top of his speed, he plays the game so wisely. I'm being totally biased, but when he's on the ice, I don't ever feel like he's going to do something stupid. I'm in a disbelief that he's able to play like this with only two years of NHL experience under his belt. I have a gut feeling that he's going to turn out to be something really special. Needless to say, I am still super excited about his new contract. His play is only half of the reason I like him so much. Off the ice, he's such a nice and respectable person. He folds his own towels after he uses them on the bench. He helps load and unload all the equipment at games. One time after a game, he ran to find the doctor who stitched up his face to thank him. In short, he's the living, embodim, living embodiment of a stereotypical nice Canadian 
<laughs> He's the nicest person I've ever met in my life. And yes, I did meet him once. I'm going to wrap this up by saying that if you ever would find yourself in St. Louis during hockey season, you know who to call. Again, thank you so much for making such great hockey content, and I can't wait to see what next season has in store for you guys. Thank you so much from Brittany. And well, thank, thank you, Brittany. Brittany. Yes, that is Very amazing. well done. Very well written as well. Extremely well written. Yeah. Very articulate young lady. Yes. Yeah. Really, really appreciate that. I don't know if we'll ever find ourselves in uh, St. Louis, but, you know, I've never been to St. Louis. And I've never happen. been to St. And Louis. if I want to visit every... every uh, arena to see. You've got game. to go to St. Louis. Got to go through St. Louis. So. Yeah, got to go through St. Louis. Make it happen. Yeah. Wow, there's some tremendous people here. Okay. Really. And, and and like it, it costs money to send us stuff, and that I feel bad about that. But it it's pretty neat. It's to, very to, neat. to read uh, yeah. people's stories, where they're from, what they're doing, why they're a hockey fan. It's it's neat. It is neat, and uh, it it increases that physical connection that you have, we have with, with the audience out there. It was funny because after the last mail time, you know, we, we announced the post office box and mail came in yep. and we held it until we had enough mail to open. And then only a few days went by. About six days ago, I checked the mail and there was nothing. Nothing in the mailbox. And I checked today, there's nine, these nine packages are <laughs> today. So. Yeah, so everything just went boom, thump. Yep. And uh, who knows what else is on its way here. Hmm. Uh, but the the address is still open. And, the address uh, is still open, yes, yeah. absolutely. I know there's some, some people have told me they've sent some stuff, so I, more is on the way. I think there's some, some packages, actually. Uh, one from Australia, maybe two from Australia, one from the UK, maybe two from oh the UK, Oh, my goodness. Actually. They might take uh, a while. So either. looking forward to those, for sure. Oh, so, definitely, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's about just the contact, the physicality of the contact. If it's just, a, if, you know, some of these are just notes. You don't, you don't have to send anything with them. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to we send anything. We just want to know about you. Uh, yeah. But if you do send something like thunder sticks, yeah, thunder sticks yeah. will go to good use. I'm going to blow these up here in a few seconds. And <laughs> have some fun here. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw in a blooper at the end. All right. Well, guys, thank you very much for uh, sending this stuff in. And thank you, everyone f at home, for watching this. If you made it this far, it's a bit of a long video here than, than wow. last time. But really, really appreciate it. If you do this channel, I hope you can hit the subscribe button. If you want to send us anything, our PO box is down in the description. And we can open it next time or the next time after that, whenever it comes in. If you like this video, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the future. Adios. What am I doing wrong here? To inflate. Pull the plastic open with the thumbs and fingers. Blow air in and put in. Oh, okay. Oh, get lightheaded. Off you go. That's a weird sound. That is cool. It sounds like metal hitting together. It does. Can you imagine like 15,000 people all just pound the noise? I wonder if it changes the, the sound based on where I... Yeah, that's loud. It's almost got like a, it sounds so much like tin. Or yeah. Something. It's weird. Yeah, it is funny, eh? Yeah. Very cool.